Series huge main event. I've got to ask you, Marty Brown, as you prepare for perhaps the biggest moment of your career, the King of the Mountain match. What effect has it had on your mental preparation seeing your close associate, Jeff Jarrett, hauled off <laughs> in handcuffs? Effect on the alpha male? None. Preparation, same. The alpha male will destroy and dismantle anything and everything you put in his path. Jeff Jarrett! Getting hauled off in handcuffs, sent to the pokey, has nothing to do with the alpha male. This is about survival. And no one knows survival more, no one knows survival better than the alpha male. King of the Mountain takes place on the Serengeti with four Omega males, five if you count Abyss twice. AJ Styles will not survive tonight. Raven, never. Abyss, you're finished. Sean Waltman, there's an X on your chest. Tonight, at the King of the Mountain, taking place on the Serengeti, you will find out why the Alpha Male, Monty Brown, is the Alpha Male. Because you four Omega Males will feel the power. Period. I am here with Monty Brown, the Alpha Male. You're known as one of the biggest big game players there is. How does it make you feel to know you're not in the NWA world title picture? Terry Taylor, question. How can the alpha male be the Frank Sinatra and Rodney Dangerfield of the wrestling game all at the same time? You witnessed King of the Mountain, and I did it my way. Did exactly what I said I would do. Destroy and dismantle everyone you put in my path. Bam, pounce. Your so-called champion, Raven, within the first 30 seconds. Alpha bomb Sean Waltman and pin him. Pounce AJ Styles, clear out of the ring. Pounce Abyss and left him laying in the table. Then Raven sneaks up and grabs the title. On my surrogate. But that's okay. But the disrespect of all of this is that whoever is in charge gives Abyss, the title shot at the next pay-per-view. But I'm used to it. I'm used to the disrespect. But what the alpha male will do is earn his respect. I will earn it because no one can stop the alpha male. And as far as three live crew goes, I could care less if you guys don't get along. And I could care less if you don't like the outlaw, I have no problems with that. But as soon as you lay your hands on a supreme being, the alpha male, I don't have a problem. You three have the problem. And coming very, very soon, I'm putting it out there. If you want to get at the alpha male and the outlaw, we'll be waiting. And we'll be waiting on the Serengeti. And something else will be waiting for all three of you. And that is the power. The Alpha Male Here. Monty Brown issued a challenge. You asked three live crew a question last week. What was their answer? I want an answer. If you want to talk to the Alpha Male, you have seven days. Seven days you've had. I know you're not that intelligent, but I gave you seven days to answer the Alpha Male. What's it going to be, two live crew? Do you accept the challenge of the Supreme Being or don't you? I've got the outlaw. I know you guys have your own problems. E.G. Jizzle James. There's somewhere crying in the corner. Conan. I know you and your boy are somewhere shaking it up and dancing with drinking a little tequila. But get rid of your problems and come and answer the alpha male and the outlaw. I've issued it once. I will not speak again. If I have to come and find you, the alpha male will bring the Serengeti to you. I got a little present for you. And all two of you, three if Brian stops crying, will get the power!
Period. Conan, over the course of the past couple of months, we've seen a wide range of emotions from the three live crew. Everything from mistrust to unity. But when I look down on the end and see the empty chair, the word I think of is separation. B.G. James, he was invited to be a part of this sit-down interview. And let's be honest, he no-showed. Truth, what's Mike, going on? Mike, it's like this. B.G. gave me his word. The way we roll, word is bond. That's all need to be said to me, all right? Conan, what's your side of the story? Yo, man, I'm going to keep it real. It hurts, you know what I'm saying? Because BG, we don't know where his head's at. And I made a mistake at Slammiversary, and I'll fess up to it, you know what I'm saying? I went into business for myself. I got distracted by the outlaw, but you know our history. And it cost us the match for that, my bad. But you know what? His indecisiveness has driven a wedge in our friendship and our future business plans. He ain't here. I don't know why. He hasn't called us. And I just want to know... Hey, what's on and popping, B.G.? Ho, 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 ho. What's Hold this? on a just a second. Now, what I hear is you guys have a bunch of questions. Well, guess what? I have all the answers. But, of course, I don't expect y'all to believe me. But listen to B.G. himself. Hey, hey, I'm right here, y'all. Come on, let's kick it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Mike, today, go ahead and run off. Let me finish this interview for you. BG, give it to them. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, TNA Entertainment proudly brings to you the two who, if we want to be, will be tag team champions of the world. The alpha male, Monty Brown. Mr. Giving It To You Raw, the outlaw. And screw the two Live crew. crew. And the one I've been waiting all night for, the no disqualification street fight with the alpha male Monty Brown and his partner. Ho, 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 ho. I got a huge announcement right here on No Surrender. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you know that me and BG James were one of the greatest tag teams ever and soon to be again. But not only BG James, but his whole family has been great to me since the start of my career. That's why tonight, I announce not only in honor of B.G. James, but his whole family, including the bullet, when he looked at me and said, you know what, you're just like one of my sons. That's why tonight and forever after, I changed my name to Kip James. Oh, you didn't know? Well, let me smarten you up. Two live crew, tough street fighter, all la and all that crap. Smarting you up, there are no streets on the Serengeti. The Serengeti is about survival, and you're looking at the two survivors. So tonight, one of you two will feel the pain. Hey man, listen, have you seen Rhino? Y'all heard me earlier? Jeff, Jeff, we got a match tonight. No, no, Rhino is in the building. Have you guys seen him? Hey, listen, anyways, I've talked to Canadians, I've talked to a lot of guys. And they're with me. But I got to ask you two guys face to face. You with me? Jeff, you know we're with you 100%. But me and Monty got a match tonight. Come on, Monty, let's go. That's cool, good. Hey, hey, Monty, Monty. Me and him go way back. Me and you, look me eye to eye. Are you with me? Firstly, Jeff, nice suit. Oh, thanks. It's a good look. Thanks. But secondly, you and I, we work on a contingency agreement. And that agreement is contingent upon you giving the alpha male a world title shot. Yeah, and from my vantage point, you're gonna have a hard time holding up your end of the bargain. Monty, think about it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, think about it. Monty, I'm They're out of options here. No, 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 no. You're not leaving me no, no, much no, no, to no. work I on. I won't it. accept that, Larry. I won't accept it. You're out of options, you're out of decisions. You're supposed to be making the administrative decisions around here, right? Yeah, right? it's not easy, yeah, yeah. man. Okay, I know it's not easy, but listen to this. You want to put BG in the alpha male's match, make him the special referee? That's why I've been pouncing him, beating him to a pulp, left and right, day in and day out. I appreciate that, but you're leaving no options. You're beating up all the referees. You're posting them. They're complaining. You're hitting them with foreign objects. Ooh. They want to quit. They're complaining about an unsafe work environment here. What That's not my problem. 
the onus will not be placed on the alpha male. And now I'm about to slow it down so you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. An unsafe work environment. The alpha male Serengeti. Get it straight. Get it right. You think it's dangerous? You think they don't want to work now? If you put B. Jizzle in my match, make him the special guest referee, the Serengeti is going to become a much more dangerous environment. I got no options, man. Drama and build up within the three live crew family. Finally, BG James showed his true intentions, made his decision, and proved Kip James wrong. Do you think, Shane? I told Kip, I told Kip that Brian James could not be trusted. But oh no, we're going to try and do it Kip's way. Brian James can be trusted, Alpha. He's my brother, Alpha. I love him, Alpha. I owe his family so much. But uh-uh. We're not doing things that way anymore. We're going to do things the alpha male's way, the Serengeti way. Kill or be killed. Hunt or be hunted. Survival of the fittest. Brian James, you are worthless and weak. I knew it from the beginning, and I should have weeded out the weak a long time ago. But now I will. So I don't care, Brian James. If it's you, Rhino, Jeff Jarrett, we have no agreement. And I wouldn't care, Shane, if it's Raven. Because, Raven, I've beaten you in less time than it takes me to say the power. Period. So the title is coming to the Alpha Male. The title is coming to the Serengeti, where it should have been a long time a go. Experience equals success. Then clearly in the first round of the Chris Candido Memorial Tag Team Tournament, this team of Kip James and Petey Williams must have the inside track to victory. You know, I couldn't have said that better myself. But the unique thing about this tournament is it puts veterans with great up-and-coming superstars like Petey Williams. Now, don't be mistaken. Veteran doesn't mean old. To me, it just means I'm really that good. Now, it's true that I am no stranger to tag team tournaments nor tag team championships. <laughs> and with that said, with my experience and Petey Williams, Canadian destroyer finisher, <laughs> it just doesn't get any better than that. Until now. Kip, I told you that BG James couldn't be trusted, but we tried to do it your way. Uh-uh. Now we're going to do it the alpha male way. So go and do your little tournament. Petey, you reel him in, hit the Canadian Destroyer and all that other good stuff. But after that, get your head back in the game. Because the alpha males got big plans and they include you. I never asked anyone ever to watch my back. But you came to the alpha male and you told me I want to hunt. That's fine. We'll hunt together. Hunt? You still don't get it, do you, Monty Brown? We're the ones being hunted by TNA management. I'm telling you guys, if we don't stick together, everybody who has built this company from ground up is going to be replaced. Petey, I know Coach Demore's taught you better than this. You're sticking, you're with me, right? Hey, Jeff, I've talked to the coach, okay, and all of Team Canada stands behind you. Oh, Kip, we go way back. You know it's been a political warfare ever since we got in this business. You with me, right? <laughs> you know I am, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, let me tell you something. I've never trusted you from the beginning, but you and I had an agreement. You blew that agreement. It's no and it's void. On the Serengeti, you get one chance, and you blew that chance. So now, I'm serving notice to you, I'm serving notice to TNA Entertainment, and anyone else who wants to come in here and take what the alpha male has, and will get very soon. The alpha male is at the top of the food chain, and I'm about to get what rightfully belongs to me. The NWA World Heavyweight Championship. 
<laughs> Mighty Brown, since you've arrived in TNA, you have cut a wide and impressive path of destruction. But, as you enter Unbreakable, you'll be teaming with Kip James once again, as you take on Apollo, a guy who, let's say, like to take a little revenge out on you for what you did to Sonny Shiaki, and his partner, the rising superstar, of course I'm talking about Lance Hoyt. Shane, please, Apollo, wah, 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 wah. Stop your crying! What I did to Sonny Siaki just goes to show you that the Serengeti is getting more and more dangerous every day. So at Unbreakable, you will understand that exact statement and concur with that exact sentiment. Lance Hoyt, your partner, a rising and rising star to everyone but the alpha male. Because to me, Lance Hoyt, you're nothing more than a big galloping buffoon of a giraffe just waiting to gallop onto the Serengeti and get star. period. So at Unbreakable, come and deal with the most unbreakable force in TNA with Kip. We will destroy and dominate you, Lance Hoyt and Apollo. So while everyone's screaming, Hoyt, 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 you, Lance, will be getting hurt, hurt, hurt. And you know how I'm going to give it to him, Shane? Do you know? I love this part. Do it, do it. Do you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pounds. Period. It's like whether, it, whether you try to say it's not no disqualification, it's going to end up that way when those two are in the ring. So you might as well just let them take off and wait a minute. I don't know if we see this coming down. What's this? This is the alpha male, Monty Brown. What's he doing right here? You tell me. Monty Brown is scheduled to be involved in a tag team matchup later tonight at Unbreakable, but the alpha male is headed to the ring right in the middle of this matchup between Cassidy Riley and Jarrell Clark. Cassidy Riley obviously saw the alpha male pop into the ring right there, and he failed, and he just turned Jarrell Clark inside out. Party with the Larian, and you're right, that's exactly what he did to Clark. He's got the microphone. Welcome to the Serengeti. Larry Zabisco, turn your earpiece up. TNA Entertainment, let Cassidy Riley back in the ring and he's distracted Monty Cassidy Brown. Riley. I forgot about you. I forgot about you. So why don't you just scoot on out of here to the safety of the high grass. Go find Raven and let the alpha male handle business on the Serengeti. That might be good advice to take if I'm Cassidy Not Riley. Now he definitely has Monty Brown's attention. Nevermore? You're right, nevermore. Oh, that was not a wise move by Cassidy Riley. I know he wants his shot out Here there. Oh, pounce! He pounced him all the way across the ring. The former National Football League linebacker just caught Ravens follower Cassidy Riley with the pounce. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Alpha male will not sit on the back burner any longer. This is my Serengeti. I'm tired after two years of waiting and waiting and asking and pleading no more. Give the alpha male what he deserves. I've never Never played second string to anyone. The alpha male is at the top of the food chain. So start treating him like that. So right here, right now, I'm telling you what it is. 
right here, right now, the alpha male hereby declares of semi-sound mind, super sound body, that I officially challenge the winner of Raven and Rhino tonight for the NWA Heavyweight Championship at Bound for Glory. Alpha Male throwing his hat into the ring, but that familiar ring entrance music leads me to believe that Jeff Jarrett is heading towards the six sided requirement. What is Jeff Jarrett doing in his ring gear? He's not scheduled for a match tonight. I mean, this is absurd. Number one, money's coming out. Something that Jeff normally does, clamoring for a title for God. Here he is coming out dressed up. He's not even supposed to be here. What kind of a statement he's trying to make? Well, I think you're right. Monty Brown beat Jeff Jarrett to the punch. But obviously, Jeff Jarrett has something in store. He's got something planned. Why else would he be in his ring gear? Well, he decided to come in ready for battle, obviously. I don't think it was Monty Brown he planned on staring down, though. Plain and simple, I think Monty did beat him to the punch. Let's hear from Jerry. Monty, I hope I didn't hear what I think I heard. You heard what you think you heard. You heard exactly what I said. Monty, you saw me in the back getting dressed. And? You knew I was coming out here. What, Monty, what are you even doing in my ring? Firstly, Jeff, this is my Serengeti. What am I doing out here? Anything the alpha male feels like. Monty, you don't get it, do you? I know today's opening football, NFL's getting going. Is your brain that scrambled? Think, Monty. We've got more unemployed wrestlers hanging around the back than we, than we have wrestlers on the right. entire TNA roster. True. And you know why they're here, Monty? I'm going to say this real nice and slow. You know why they're here? To take your job and to take my job. That's good. Monty, let me refresh your memory, bro. Why are you standing in this ring? Because of Jeff Jarrett. Why were you on the Wednesday night pay-per-views? Because of me. Why, were you, why are you becoming a huge international star? Because of me. Why are you getting the opportunity to go to slamming Saturday nights? All because of me. Thinking a little highly of himself. Monty, 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 listen. I'm dead serious. I think we've got a problem. You think we have a problem, Jeff? Yes, we, I, I definitely think that. Let me tell you, you brought me to the dance. But while you were doing that, the alpha male was handling his business. You think we have a problem? Uh-uh. Oh, Kip James has hit the ring. The Alpha Male Monty Brown's tag team partner. We have a problem. Kip James obviously wants to keep Monty Brown motivated on the match that they have later at Unbreakable right here, Mike. Uh-oh. Difference of opinion Monty, Monty, here. Monty, listen to me. Listen to me. I came here tonight. Listen. Hey, both you knuckleheads, listen. I came here for one reason and one reason only. TNA doesn't want to book me on the card. That's fine with me. The old saying, po possession is nine-tenths of the law. Well, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, and I'm telling everybody in the back, on October 1st, I will have possession of the NWA world title because nobody or no one deserves it more than me. Not Kevin Nash, not Sting, not AJ Styles, not Abyss. You can go down the entire roster. The only person that deserves to be wearing the NWA world title is me, the king of the mountain.
it crystal clear earlier tonight that you ain't the kind of man to sit around and wait for an NWA World's Heavyweight title shot to be given to you. But I would suggest that tonight you and Kip James have some unresolved issues to take care of with Apollo and Lance Hoyt. You're right, Shane. Tonight, hey, would you like to tell me what that was just all about? I'll tell you exactly what that was all about. It was about getting the job done, which you haven't been doing, and don't you never. Are you kidding me? Me get the job done? I don't know what your problem is with Jeff Jarrett, but you need to probably apologize for it. Apologize to yeah. Jarrett? Yeah. The alpha male, in case you didn't know, Kip, apologize to no man. I owe no one any apologies because I'm doing things around here the way I want to. Listen, Monty, I don't know if you know this or not, but I am one of the most decorated wrestling stars that this business has ever seen. Now, we have a match tonight with Lance Hoyt and Apollo. Would you like to get your head into that, maybe? My head is in this game. It's always been in the game. You need to get yourself together. This thing's about competition. Let's go compete. Let's go hunt like we said we would. Lance Hoyt, Apollo, tonight, you both will feel the power, period. Get your head right.